guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing my October favorites yes my favorites is super late but I was just running behind this month I guess and I was debating on whether I wanted to put my October favorites with my November favorites or if I wanted to do them separate so I decided to do them separate I only have a few things to talk about today and I kind of wanted to change my favorites up a little bit too so hopefully you're excited for that Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to my channel before you leave. So if you would like to learn about my October favorites, then just keep on watching. So I wanted to start incorporating my favorite song, favorite drink, and favorite show into my favorites videos just because I feel like that'll push me to like try new things so that I can talk about it because literally I do the same things over and over again. So I wanted to go ahead and change it up. So for the month of October, my favorite song is Caroline. Thanks to Devin. Devin is like the root of all of us learning new music. Caroline is by Amine. Yeah, I believe I'm saying that right. Devin taught me how to say it, but I don't know if I'm saying it right. I think I am though. Amine, yeah. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you guys know Caroline. If not, you should definitely check it out. My favorite drink this month was the pumpkin spice latte i get it on campus like in our little dining facility but they make starbucks coffee so i'm pretty sure like the one from starbucks is probably the same if not better i haven't actually had it from a starbucks but the pumpkin spice latte was my drink for october i literally drank it like almost every weekend like i usually don't even get coffee that often but i was really racking up with the lattes like every weekend and not just like my small i was getting like mediums and that's crazy for me the pumpkin spice latte was definitely my thing and then my favorite show this month oh my favorite show was black mirror this show is on netflix and when i tell you sierra put me onto the show and now i can't stop watching it it's so crazy like and i love the fact that the episodes are not tied to each other so it's not like i have to follow a series or anything or have to start way back at like the first episode so I was just like you know what this is my new show like I love it it's so me like y'all know I love like suspense or like crazy things and it's like a sci-fi show so it's just like right up my alley okay I love it check it out it's on Netflix and to get into like some actual favorites I wanted to mention these glasses right here because I have been loving the clear lenses like these are my thing right now and I wore these a few weeks ago because we went to a 90s Halloween party so I definitely wore these glasses I know like it looks crazy with the ring light but I wore these glasses and I just remember how much I love clear lens glasses like they are so cute I love it and it looks so much better with my big hair too I love it obsessed I just had to mention those real quick because those have been a recent obsession to be honest the next thing that I wanted to mention were these wet and wild brushes you guys these brushes are like a dollar and they're amazing like what I was just so surprised like I really didn't have high hopes for them because literally every brush was like a dollar but this contour brush right here this brush picks up so much product as you can see it's so dirty it picks up so much product and i like put it on my cheek and it looked like i put a brown stripe on my cheek i was like oh my gosh i have never had a brush pick up so much product definitely if you're going to pick up the wet and wild contour brush please use a light hand with your product it also depends on the product i'm guessing too but i was using my nyx contour and highlight palette and this thing picked up the whole pan of the contour and put it on my face i was like oh blend it out blend it out i was trying to blend that thing out this was in my halloween glitter glam makeup so i'm pretty sure y'all saw my face when i put that brown stripe on my face it was insane okay and another brush that i've been loving is this ardell brow brush so this is just a duo ended brush one end is an angle brush and the other end is a spoolie this brush right here has pretty much saved my life and saved me a lot of time so i only have to reach for one brush i don't have to pick up two to do my eyebrows i just work with one and it makes life so easy it works really good with the ardell brow pomade and it also works really good with the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade because that's pretty much my holy grail right now and that's what i use like every day i love that brush and it came with the ardell pomade so that's also good you get the product and the brush 
together so you don't have to use a separate brush i think it was very convenient and i'm glad i purchased it the next thing that i want to talk about is this la colors jumbo eye pencil and this is in the color black i've been using this a lot lately in my waterline and usually i don't put things in my waterline until i found like that nude coal pencil from rimmel london i started putting that in my waterline over the summer but i wanted to kind of start doing more nighttime looks like more smoky type things in the waterline so i've been using a black pencil and i've actually been been loving it I even used this eyeliner pencil in my Halloween glitter glam video and I used it as lipstick well a base to like the glitter that I put on my lips so it's really creamy it's a good product you know I really don't follow the rules makeup rules it's an eyeliner pencil but I would probably use it as a lip liner too but I use it as a whole lipstick instead it is kind of big like the tip of it is kind of big so it might not be the best lip pencil but it did the job for that video so i would highly recommend this and it's like two dollars i think i actually got this for a dollar from shop miss a i love this thing and i like putting black in my waterline now so that's a new thing for me what's your favorite song oh my gosh okay that's like the first time he even like answered like right away oh you doing the dance too yeah you are uh, he doing a dance too, y'all. Okay, so the last product that I have to mention is an oldie but goodie, and this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I am surprised that I even still have some of this stuff left because I use it so much, and I've had it for a really long time. I bought this when I bought my Studio Fix Fluid, but that has been long gone, and this has been holding on, so I'm really happy about that. I'm in the color Dark Deep, and I use this to set my foundation and it does a really good job. He was already in the video because he walked through my, my camera. I have this cafe. <laughs> he had to go get food. No, you're gonna be crunching all loud. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is like a very old product, but I use it all the time. And it's the only setting powder that I use for my face, so. It has been doing good. I use it with all of my foundations and it works really good. It's really lightweight, so it's not like putting more cake on top of your foundation and it's not actually a foundation, so that makes it better. I know a lot of people like to set their liquid foundation with a powder foundation, but I don't really do that. I did that for a time with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I would use like the same powder to set that, but I just feel like that just gave me extra coverage that I didn't really need. So. I use this because it's lightweight and it still gets the job done and it also like tones down the supreme like highlight that I do right here. Like it'd be super dramatic highlight under my eyes. So I always want to like tone that down a little bit and that's what I use that powder for but I just put it all over my face. So I will highly recommend MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I don't know if they have a lot of colors in this but I'm surprised they have a color that matches my skin tone like melanin popping. I love this stuff. Ugh. So that's it for my October favorites. Let me know down below what your favorites for this month were. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you in my next video. How do you feel about big hair? I be feeling it.